Hello friends, this is Rupesh you are watching C Unit's video series on C++ and in this video we will be learning about how to calculate the size of your structure and classes in C and C++. So I have created another video, I mean I created long back, it's structural padding and packing. So there I have explained how structural padding and packing work and I feel like I have missed few points so I would like to cover those points here. So if you have not watched my previous video, please go ahead and watch that first then you come here and watch this one. And you will get the link in the description field so if this is your structure like first is character then another one is integer and then character then what would be the size of this one so most of the people will be knowing that size so let me just give this size here size of node and yeah size of this one is 12 bytes so let's check that see we got 12 here so why 12 so many people no why 12 but still i'm going to explain this because i assume lots of people don't know this so what will happen here is you will have c here i here and p here and every block is of four byte okay so why it's like this see character is taking one byte but still it is occupying four byte just because the maximum data type in this structure is Four byte so it will take multiple of four bytes so initially what it will do when it is creating the size it will check okay this one is the character which take one byte so it will create for structure here let's call it for C but the biggest size is four byte that's why it will allocate four bytes for C okay and then it is going to allocate for i then it will allocate this and i will take four byte because it is integer and same goes for this p okay so p will come here and it will be four byte but why it work like this because of the memory alignment problem okay so if you don't know what is memory alignment problem as i told go ahead and watch that previous video of mine okay so ultimately it will create 444 four, four means 12 byte for node but wait a minute we didn't came here just because we wanted to see what would be the size of this one we came here for this reason let's suppose you have some another structure let's call it node 1 and inside that structure you're using this node n. and here we have some integer let's call it x so what do you think what would be the size of this one as we saw that in this example here that if we have the bigger data type as 4 then rest of the size will be calculated on the basis of this bigger data type which is integer so the similar case here what would be the size of this one is it going to be like this one is 12 byte and then is it going to be like multiple of 12 so let's check that so I'll just print that size of node 1 and bingo okay so as you can see it is not working that way it means it is not going to create 12 and 12 24 bytes for this one okay so that thing doesn't hold here like the bigger one is chosen and your memory will be created on that basis no it is not going to work like that so how is it going to work so let me explain you that here actually we are seeing this as 12 bytes but actually it is 4 byte 4 byte and 4 byte okay so if you change this node one structure like this like you have this struct node one and character c integer i character p and then integer x then it should be clear right because we have this 16 here and this will take 4 4 4 and 4 so add up 16 so this is how it works you have taken a user defined data type then compile will open this user defined data type like this so you might be wondering let's suppose if we have this 
integer here that's why it is taking 444 if we have 8 here I mean double here then it should take 8 right so let's check that so instead of this one if I will make this a double then what should be the size of this one it is 8 byte so this one will go 8 8 and 8 then this is 24 and what should be the size of this one as this time the bigger one is 8 so this size should be this is total 24 and then 8 again so 24 plus 8 32 so let's check that see we got it here so 24 and 32 okay so now tell me what if I include another integer x here let's suppose integer q then what would be the size of this one I know lots of people would say that it will increment another 8 so it will become 40 but no it will remain at 32 and if you don't want to know that why then skip the video otherwise continue our size remained same so let's check that why it is like this so when it is going to create the memory for this it will start like this it will open up this one so after opening this it will get these things here okay then it will check which is the biggest data type double so it will create memory multiple of 8 so it will create first 8 here and C goes there but C will take only one byte I mean uh, the initial one byte and remaining seven bytes will be of no use because next element is double and double cannot accommodate in seven byte it needs eight byte that's why it will start taking another eight byte okay and we'll put this i here okay another eight byte and the same will go with this p so if we are creating a memory we will create in the multiple of eight so we'll create 8 bytes memory and we'll put this p here even if it is taking only one byte p will come here now this 8 8 and 8 is 24 so this one is correct the size of node is 24 and we can see that why but wait i'll tell you how to optimize this in the end of this video okay so you can actually reduce the size of your node and i'll tell you how so we are done with this one now let's come to this one so as I told this will be opened up here and it will check what is the biggest data type here and it will create memory with the multiple of that data type. So we have double here and it takes 8. So we will create another 8 byte and put this x in that. Now wait a minute x is of 4 byte right so half of this is occupied by x and remaining half when this q was not there was kept empty i mean it was going wasted because we were not using that and just because of this structural padding we ended up occupying 8 byte even if we needed only 4 for this integer x but if we include this q and you notice that size was not increased so now I'm going to tell you why because this Q was accommodated here so 8 byte was allocated and X was placed in first half and Q was placed in another half that's why your size didn't increase even after including this Q in this node 1 so now you got the reason right now you might be asking why this thing is not happening with these things I mean the first node here the reason is I told you it will create memory multiple of 8 so initially it created 8 memory and it put C in that so C occupied first byte and remaining 7 was going wasted why wasted because we cannot push this I which is of 8 size into 7 size that's why we have to create another 8 byte and similarly for this character p here and now you may ask like p will take first byte of this eighth byte here and remaining seven was empty so seven is empty so why this x didn't came here 
it will not come because this is one full data okay so this is node type and this is one single data and this x will not get merged here this is what my assumption i'm not sure about this but after experimenting i found this okay so if you know something better than this please comment it will be helpful for others as well so x and q will go like this because 0 to 3 is for x and 4 to 7 is for q and let's suppose there is this integer q and if you will write further some character data type like character k then what will happen yes it will create another 8 byte of memory and in initial byte it will place this k okay but it will hold 8 byte because the rule is if you are asking for memory you will be asking 8 byte because your bigger data type is 8 so i think we are clear till this point now let me tell you how to optimize all these things the way to optimize is see this is the bigger one and this is the smaller one what we should do is we should simply place in a sorted order okay like this so bigger one will come in the last and the smallest one will start from the beginning okay so if we have sort then that sort will come here okay and integer will come here are you getting my point this character will take one byte one byte two byte four byte eight byte it should be in this order increasing order from the top then only your data will be optimized okay so tell me what will be the size of this one as the bigger data type is double so we all know that it will take multiple of eight so character will come into first byte another will come into the second byte okay let me just draw that let's suppose this is your first eight byte okay and c will come in the first p will come next to that sort will come here and then integer will come here so one byte one byte two byte and then four byte so a and then double will go here another eight byte and i will come here so eight plus eight 16 only okay so let's check that if i will compile this you will get 16 and 24 so forget about this 24 node size is 16 and you got the reason why so as i said it will create a multiple of 8 and it will try to push all these data types inside that 8 and once it is not able to push any data inside that 8 it will create another 8 so this is how it work and before this two things was not there right and if you remember when we were keeping this one after this like this then it was taking 8 byte 8 byte and 8 byte so you learn how to place your data inside structures okay it should be in a sorted order then only it will take advantage of these things okay because your compiler will start placing the data from top and it will place like this what i have explained here so i think we are done here thanks for watching and if you have any doubts please ask i'll be very happy to explain all the doubts and please comment how did you feel about this video i need to improve somewhere or something or it was good bad whatever but please do comment thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye